Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Carl Dukes, Cordell Stewart. We're still down here live at Stats Marietta Baker Street. We're happy to be joined by Commissioner Don Garber. I'm of the, paying attention, man. Uh, of the MLS. <laughs> yeah, he's on like three phones right now. He's getting you know text messages and tweets from all over the world, and rightfully so. Welcome to the ATL, and uh, we're excited about getting this franchise. Why Atlanta? I know you guys are trying to expand to 25 teams ultimately. Talk to us about why Atlanta. You know, this is a big city. You know, most people don't really understand. It's a top 10 market. It's the largest market we didn't have a team in. Uh, it's a market that's very diverse. It's become very international. you got all these young people now that are living in all these condos. That young millennial fan base is what drives Major League Soccer. You guys might not know this. Just a couple weeks ago, ESPN did a sports poll. Second most popular league, 18 to 25 after the NFL, tied with the NBA, Major League Soccer. Young person sport, all those kids who grew up with the game are now becoming fans of the game, and that's good for us. Don, you know, we were just talking off air on how you were running a quarterback club and the quarterback challenge, yeah, basically, that we had. Yeah, trying to get Frank's had. email here, man. <laughs> and how that was a part of the National Football League and how you created that and implemented that to to be a part of the community and a part of a part of football. What is it about you that drives you to be able to bring something like this here to Atlanta in a big market, truthfully, where tons of sports have and tons of success, but with Arthur Blank being able to get his new facilities there, the new stadium in a few years, now all of a sudden we inject the MLS into that situation. How big is that and how are you capable of getting that done? So, you know, Cordell, I, uh, and you guys, Cordell, I just told that. I had spent 16 years in the NFL. And then Lamar Hunt, Robert Kraft, founded MLS. And I was at an NFL owners meeting. They said to me, what do you, you want to be the commissioner of the league? I said, that sounds like a cool job. And that was 15 <laughs> years ago. Yeah. And my role there was a fan development. I ran NFL Europe for a while. And I was the guy that was trying to get people to connect with the league. That's what Major League Soccer is all about, trying to get people that love the sport to connect with a local team. You got a guy like Arthur Blank who wants to own a team, and you got a beautiful new stadium that'll happen 2017. You have a city like Atlanta, big and and diverse. That's a great formula for us. So I, I think this is not going to be. I mean, soccer is not easy when you worked at the NFL for 20 years, but it's growing, and and this city I think will be successful. You know, a couple weeks ago we had almost 70,000 people at a Mexico Nigeria game. Mm -hmm. It's unheard of. I yeah, mean, yeah. it really is when those events come in. Don, we only got a few more minutes with you. Commissioner Don Garber joining us here on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Carl Dukes, Cordell Stewart. People, the criticism I've heard, Don, is, well, they're trying to expand too fast. Uh, is the MLS not working in some markets when they should be trying to put all their efforts into trying to get that up versus expansion? And the fear is, well, if they expand too fast, maybe this won't go over as well here in Atlanta. How do you answer that? You know, those are good questions. You know, you can't shy away from, I would say, skepticism at first, right? Because anytime you, you got an emerging business, you got to be bold. You got to take risks. You got to understand that you got to move it forward. And sometimes it ain't a straight line. You know, it's going up and down. And we have those issues. We just purchased a team from one of our owners, like other leagues have done, the NBA, Major League Baseball. Certainly they did that with the Dodgers. We did that with our second team in L.A., but you've got to move. You've got to move forward. You've got to expand in markets where you don't have teams. We don't have a team today south of D.C. And when you, when you don't have almost 70 million people connected with your league, you know, you just got to do it. And then you've got to hunker down and you've got to do focused marketing and fan development and, and just uh, make it work. The vision that Arthur Blank had with basically trying to create these type of venues do you foresee it happening as successfully as it has for the Hawks, for the Braves, as well as for the Falcons? Because everything he seems to put his hands on seems to turn to gold. Do you see it actually to coming out to fruition that way? Well, you know, it's hard for me to come in on the, on, on the basketball team and know the experience that the NHL had and even on the baseball team, right? We're very, very focused on what they've been able to do with the Falcons. Mm -hmm. I remember the Falcons before Arthur Blank. You see what he's done for the last 12 years and the fan focus and the community focus. If you take those two things and you engage with your fans and you engage in the community, you got the right building, it almost doesn't matter what sport you have. Right. So if you do those things right, you're going to make it work. Don, we got to run. We appreciate okay. the time. Appreciate Thank you so much Thank for you, stopping by on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Care. Don Garber, commissioner of the MLS. We'll throw it back to the studio there as we get ready for the Hawks game tonight here on Sports Radio 92.9 The Game. Sports Radio, 92.9 The Game.
in the game on Twitter at 929 the game on Facebook slash 929 the game on YouTube slash 929 the game on your phone the free audio roadshow app the website 929 thegamecom watch the game watch 929 thegamecom and listen at 929 thegamecom Sports Radio 929 the game.